Hi, welcome along everyone today. Had a little query in about central eating. Fellas having his central eating done. He's a little bit worried because the plumbers have said they're going to use plastic pipes for the heating. So, does he need to be concerned? He says he'd rather have it done in old fashioned copper. So it's going to be a more solid job. And he's asked me, what do I think? Well, this one is a a can of worms type problem so let's have a look at the plastic fittings shall we so I guess the thing is is it speed you want means a plumber can fit it faster it means a bit cheaper uh, the plastic can be running long lengths with no joins and it can be bent and twisted around with the copper it's rigid solid it's got to use bends and fittings to get around or try and bend it with a copper tube bender so there's lots of really benefits with speed fit that you get but you don't get with copper but in the long term it's the longevity that we're probably looking at here that what my subscriber is worried about he knows copper has been in the field for a long long time whereas plastic relatively is, is a newer thing not that new I know for us plumbers but it's still got to prove it's it's metal I guess the main concern really with the plastic is this isn't it if you look inside there, you can just see hopefully a, a rubber ring, black rubber ring. That is your seal. That is it. That's all that's stopping you from being flooded or gushed out in your house if you've got a leak. <laughs> now, I'm not going to worry or anything like that, but it's been proven that these are really, really good. I've very seldom seen leaks from these. Sometimes it's been just where they've been badly fitted and there's strain on it or something, you know, it's not been fitted quite right. But at the end of the day, it does rely on that rubber seal in there against our copper, which is rigid, soldered in there. Once it's soldered, they very, very rarely, rarely ever leak unless it's been badly soldered and not soldered and tinned round properly. Usually once it copper's in, it's in. So the only other things with plastic, I guess, did have a house uh, a few years back that had mice and they did chew through the plastic pipe. <laughs> so the other thing is, is will the plastic get brittle over time, over a few years, maybe. I haven't known it yet, but I guess it's just new technology versus old. We know the old is, is that it's years behind it and with the plastic in terms of it's relatively new hasn't yet, has it? There we are then, just a little one, I'm sure that plenty of my subscribers out there, you've got your own ideas on this one. Uh, if you have, if you'd like to put a little something in the description box underneath, it all might help my friend out there who can't make his mind up about the plastic tubing because he's so worried about that little rubber o-ring seal that is in the plastic fittings. He's kind of worried they ain't going to do the course over time. But I'm sure you've got your own ideas on this one. So please comment and do all the usual stuff I know you're good at. <laughs> okay, that's it though. Thanks very much for watching. There goes Mo. Time for me to go. Someone's at the door. All my stuff, you know where to go. Derek from 33. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.